Shuttle launch control, T minus two hours, 37 minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The Astrovan is now approaching the surface of launch pad 39A. And in just a moment, we will see the astronauts disembark and prepare for their ride up the fixed service structure to the orbiter access arm. In the background, we see the hydrogen flare stacks burning off the residual impurities, just uh, as so much as an oil refinery does that in the refining process. Astronauts uh, just uh, exiting the elevator now, and uh, we'll be heading over to the orbiter access arm. Astronauts are now beginning to board Endeavour. We see our commander, Dom Gorey. And uh, as customary, he'll be sitting in the left front seat on the flight deck. Commander Dom Gorey now on board Endeavour at nine minutes after the hour. Once he's in his seat, we should hear him begin his communications confirmation with the firing room. Here is Garrett Reisman inside the mid-deck. As we said, sitting over all the way over on the right on the mid-deck. OTC, CBSC on 212. OTC, go ahead. Yeah, step uh, 656 will be not performed. Okay, copy that. And CMTC 656 not performed. Meanwhile, Dom Gorey is still being strapped in upstairs. OTC DPS. Go ahead, DPS. MTU GMT adjustment and MET GMT adjustment are complete. Okay, copy that. 636 CMTC. Copy. Back up on the um, flight deck, uh, flight deck shot's a little bit dark, dark because so there's no uh, sun coming through the front windows of Endeavour, being a nighttime 
launch and uh, they don't have any of the other lights on in the uh, forward part of the cockpit. They're on in the uh, aft section there as we can see. Say, so you're, you're ready for crew module close out, nice guys. Yeah, we're getting there, so uh, OTC, thank you. Sure. And this is OTC on two so we're getting very close to beginning the um, crew module closeouts. 680 along with 681. copy. It was named after the first ship commanded by James Cook, the 18th century British explorer, navigator, and astronomer. The name was selected in a national competition involving students in elementary and secondary schools. To the launch team, however, it's known as OV-105, which was the fifth orbiter in the fleet based on the initial numbering system. Its first flight was in May 1992 on a mission to rescue the stranded Intelsat-6 satellite. Endeavour's last launch was STS-118 last summer. Endeavour last year also completed some planned upgrades that will take it to the end of the space shuttle program in 2010 and also has a capability that helps it to stay attached to the International Space Station for the um, full duration plan for this flight, which is 11 days attached to the station, and then uh, the 16-day, total 16-day mission. That uh, data will be played back to verify with the Launch Control Center and Mission Control in Houston that that data is on board Endeavour's computers properly. STS-123 marks the 122nd launch of the Space Shuttle program, the 21st of 21st launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour and the 25th flight to the International Space Station. This is the 30th night launch in the Space Shuttle program. Endeavour will deliver the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Kibo pressurized logistics module and Canada's new robotic system, Dexter, the special purpose dexterous manipulator to the International Space Station. The mission will require five spacewalks and the use of both the shuttle and space station robotic arms. You guys ready for a downlift loss? STS-123 is planned as a 16-day mission, of which 11 of those Endeavour will be docked to the International Space Station. Ready for it now. Okay, the pressurized logistics module in the cargo bay is a short cylinder that attaches to the top of the Kibo laboratory. It's 14.4 feet in diameter and 12.8 feet long and can hold inside eight experiment racks. Dexter is another Canadian contribution to the International Space Station. It supplements a robotic arm already in place called Canada Arm 2. Dexter is like an extra pair of hands that will extend the arm's reach to help future construction of the space station. With its big arm, Canada Arm 2 can move around the station's exterior, move large modules, and help spacewalkers perform their tasks. But Dexter can carry out operations too delicate for the big arm by itself. It has a new capability to tackle assignments with much more precision. Dexter can be thought of as helping hands that use a set of arms equipped with claws to perform very precise movements for more intricate maintenance tasks. It can't replace a spacewalker completely, but it will reduce the number of spacewalks that otherwise would be required. It also makes many tasks simpler 